Welcome to Wings of Arrow Advanced Education and Research Organization. To know more, visit our official web page wingsofarrow.in. Hi guys, today we are going to see boundary layer theory, few solved objective questions. First question, the flow through a circular pipe is laminar. Now, the fluid through the pipe is replaced with more viscous fluid and passes through the pipe again with the same velocity. What can we say about the nature of this flow? Four options, the flow will become turbulent, the flow will be transition flow, the flow will remain laminar, Reynolds number of the earlier flow is required to answer this question. So just recall what is mean by Reynolds number rho vd by mu but in this case the flow through a circular pipe is said to be laminar when the Reynolds number is below 2100. Now in this case what they have asked is when we increase the viscous so definitely the Reynolds number will be decreased so it will become anyhow it will become a laminar flow because if the density velocity and the diameter remain same so we can say that the Reynolds number is inversely proportional to the viscosity so we can say by increasing the viscosity we will decrease the Reynolds number when the Reynolds number decreases the still it will be in laminar flow so our right option is option C that means the flow will remain laminar boundary layer flow separates from the surface if four options dou u by dou y equal to zero and dou p dp by dx equal to zero b du by dy equal to zero and dp by dx is greater than zero du by dy equal to zero and dp by dx is greater than zero and the last option the boundary layer thickness is zero recalling this figure of an boundary layer separation so from there we can know that when we have an adverse gradient it causes a boundary layer separation where we can say dou p by dou x that means change in pressure with respect to the distance it increases it becomes a positive in the same case dou u by dou y will be zero so this explains the sufficient condition for flow separation is du by dx equal to 0 and dp by dx is greater than 0. That means our right option is option B. Consider a laminar flow at 0 incident over a flat plate. The shear stress at the wall is denoted by tau w. The axial position x1 and x2 on the plate are measured from the leading edge in the direction of flow. If x2 is greater than x1, then following options. So let's see the solution. This explains the recalling the tau formula that is 0.332 rho v square by root over of Re. From here we can say that Reynolds number is proportional to this x that is distance from the leading edge. So from there substituting we can say that the tau is inversely proportional to the root over of x. So we can say that is if we have the condition that x2 is greater than x1 that means the tau 1 that is shear stress of position 1 will be greater than shear stress of position 2. It is the value of thickness of the boundary layer at leading edge of the plate 0 0.33, 1, 0 0.5 and 0. So recall the plate when it is attaching the value of uh, boundary layer thickness is always 0 at the leading edge. So right option is option D. The Blaise's equation related to boundary layer theory is third order linear partial differential equation. 
third order nonlinear partial differential equation c second order nonlinear ordinary equation and d second order linear partial differential equation so before that let's recall the sublacious equation this explains we have both the third order and the second order and in the combination of that so we can determine as we know that it is a third order nonlinear partial differential equation that is option B boundary layer separation occurs when pressure gradient is zero pressure gradient is positive pressure gradient is negative and the pressure gradient is infinite so we know just before a few questions we have seen the diagram so we can say that from this equation the boundary layer separation causes when the dp by dx is greater than zero we get that means positive so option b is a right option the thickness of laminar boundary layer at the distance x from the leading edge over a flat plate varies as this is a very very important question if you remember this question the right option this formula that is dou equals to 5 uh, x by root over rex and re means you know that rho v d by mu so when we know that that v of x and when you do that the uh, boundary layer thickness is proportional to x power 1 by 2 or x power root over x so right answer is b thickness of turbulent boundary layer at the distance x from the leading edge over a flat plate varies as x power 4 by 5 x power 1 by 2 x power 1 by 5 x power 3 by 5 now recall the formula turbulent boundary layer thickness equals to 0.382 by re power 1 by 5 now what is re we know that re is rho v x by mu so we can recall that and when we change and proportion it with respect to the distance from the leading edge that is x term we will get that x power 4 by 5 so our right option is for the turbulent x power 4 by 5 that is option a for laminar compressible flow the flat plate skin friction drag cf proportionate to re r power 2 r power 1 by 2 r power 1 by 5 let's recall the formula you need to recall the formula that is cf equals to 0 0.730 div root divided by root over rex so it is divided by so proportionate depends on the r power 0 0.5 so right option is c the thickness of boundary layer in a turbulent flow is these are the following options and you should remember the formula for the boundary layer thickness in a turbulent flow so from here you can choose the right option that is option c in a steady flow of an oil in a fully developed laminar regime the shear stress is the following four options remember among this option we know that at the center of the pipe the shear stress will be zero and the velocity will be maximum and towards the edges of the pipe the shear stress will be maximum and where the velocity will be minimum or zero so our right option is option d the thickness of boundary layer is an ever increasing one at its distance from the leading edge of the plate increases a r in practice 99 percent of the depth of the boundary layer is attained within a short distance of the leading edge so here are the following options that is both a and r are true and r is the correct explanation of a in case of B, both are true, but the R is not the correct explanation of A. A is true, but R is false. D, A is false and the R is true. 
So here is the explanation. We know that boundary layer thickness equals to 5x by root over Rex. So there is one more thing. First is correct. And the second is there is no term called depth of boundary layer. So our right option is option C. Here comes one problem. A flat plate 2 meter cross 0.4 meter is set parallel to an uniform stream of air density 1.2 kg per meter cube and the viscosity 1. Here comes the solution. Here is the given details. Density, viscosity that is kinematic viscosity 16 centi strokes which is converted in 16 to 10 power minus 6 meter square per second air velocity u equals to 30 km per hour which has been converted in meter per second so recalling the thickness of boundary layer we know that dou, uh, that is del equals to 5x by root over re so applying the formula we get as 4.38 of mm so our right option is option b a laminar boundary layer occurs over a flat plate at zero incidence to the flow. The thickness of boundary layer at a section 2 mm from the leading edge is 2 mm. The thickness of boundary layer at a section 4 mm from the leading edge will be 4 sets of options. Let's see the solution. Here is the given data. Case 1, the boundary layer thickness is 2 mm at the section when the distance is 2 meter. And the case 2, at the section 2 we have the 4 meter and we have to find what is the del, that is the boundary layer thickness. So we recall that, that is boundary layer thickness is proportional to the root over of x. So from here we can write that case 1 and 2, that is do 1 that is del 1 by del 2 equals to root over of x1 by root over of x2 now by changing that is our requirement to find the del 2 so from here we can write the formula like this and from here by substituting the values of and we get as 2 into 2 power 1 by 2 mm that is our right answer is option b for linear distribution of velocity in the boundary layer on a flat plate, what is the ratio of displacement thickness del star to the boundary layer thickness 1 by 4, 1 by 3, 1 by 2 and 1 by 5? Let's see the solution. This is the basic velocity profile of laminar boundary layer that is u by u infinity equals to v y by del. So recalling the displacement thickness, this is the formula for displacement thickness and from there you have substitute the value of u by u infinity and that is y by del and after that integrating we after that substituting the limits we got as displacement thickness is del by 2 and as per the question what they have asked that is del star by del so we can substitute the values of the concerned thing and we get as 1 by 2 from here we can attain the right answer is option c here comes the question that is del equals to boundary layer thickness, del star is a displacement thickness, del E equals to energy thickness, theta equals to momentum thickness and shift factor H of a boundary layer is given by. So for that recall the shift factor of a boundary layer that is displacement thickness by momentum thickness. So we know that what is displacement thickness del star, what is momentum thickness is theta. So our right answer is option B. Here comes one more problem. The velocity distribution in a boundary layer is given as u by u infinity equals to y by del, where u is the velocity at the distance y from the boundary and u is a free stream velocity and del is the boundary layer thickness at a certain distance from the leading edge of a plate. The ratio of displacement to the momentum thickness. Here in this question they have asked the displacement to momentum thickness and the concern for concern options has been given. Let's see the solution. We know the laminar boundary layer uh, u by u infinity equals to v by del. 
and uh, applying the values and substituting that we got as for displacement thickness we got as del by 2 and for momentum thickness we got as del by 6 by substituting the formula and as per the concern thing we have substitute we got as 1 by 3 that means in this question they have asked del star by theta so our right option is option c which of the following is a correct relationship between the laminar boundary layer thickness displacement thickness and the momentum thickness so for that you have to remember this thing that is del is greater than del star greater than momentum greater than the energy thickness so from here we can say the right option is option e here comes one more assertions and reason the dimple or uh, the dimples on the golf ball are intentionally provided reason are a turbulent boundary layer since it has more momentum than the laminar boundary layer can better resist an adverse pressure gradient and these are the very very important question they have asked in many gate questions and many ies exam even in automobile mechanical questions so remember this is a right explanation for this uh, dimple formation of a golf ball and there's a perfect reason for it so our right option is option a laminar flow over a flat plate there are four options let's see the solution here it comes the following things there's a formula between the thermal boundary layer and the laminar boundary layer thermal boundary layer denoted by the del t and the laminar boundary layer denoted by del which is related with the prandtl number that is pr these are the expressions so in case of laminar boundary layer when we have uh, the thermal boundary layer thickness is more high that means we have the prandtl number less than one so our right option is option c if the fluid f having prandtl's number is equal equal to unity how the hydrodynamic boundary layer thickness and the thermal boundary layer thickness related just now we have seen some expressions so we know when the prandtl number is equal to one so definitely this del that is del equals to del t so right option is option a the ratio of thickness of a boundary layer to the thickness of the hydrodynamic boundary layer is equal to prandtl number n power n where n is equals to so already we have seen the concern formula which is appearing on your skin so you have to remember this formula so from here we can derive the right option is option a so here comes one more problem for flow over a flat plate the hydrodynamic boundary layer thickness is 0.5 mm the dynamic viscosity is 25 into 10 power minus 6 pascal second specific heat is 2.0 joule per kg kelvin and the thermal conductivity is 0.5 watt per meter kelvin the thermal boundary layer thickness would be there are following four options here comes the given data the hydrodynamic thickness has been given that is del is given 0.5 mm mu is given 25 into 10 power minus 6 and specific cp is given that 2.0 kg joule per kg kelvin and conductivity is given at 0.5 watt per m k so we know the prandtl number is mu cp by k after substituting the values we got that uh, the prandtl is uh, value is 1 now recalling this formula that is a del t by del equals to pr minus 1 by 3 so we are substituting the value of that so we can get that del t equals to del so that is nothing but that is del t equals to 0.5 then our right answer is answer b Thank you for watching this video. If you have further inquiry or requested video, drop down to our mail wingsofarrow at the rate gmail.com. Don't forget to subscribe for more updates. For the time being, take care, stay blessed, inspired and fly high.